So what's good, y'all? It's OMA YB. Uh, last time we were having a discussion about selfishness, and ultimately we came to the conclusion that, you know, selfishness isn't necessarily a good or bad thing. You know, it is what it is. Everybody and everybody uh, is selfish in some sense. You know, you can try to deny it or what, whatever. But every That's even being selfish. You're just trying to deny it so you can feel better about yourself. But real that's, good. <laughs> that's a good point. Good, good point. Um, every desire is selfish, though. So it doesn't even matter. You know, uh, these are some thoughts that I was having while I was driving last night. It doesn't matter what the desire is because it's going to be selfish regardless. What matters is. clarity that you have on what you want because some people think that they want something but they don't really know what they want so it's it's not the fact that you want something it's what it's it's what you want really because you can even get it something though fill in the hole like say money money let's say i want uh, uh, whatever your number is significant amount of money let's say i want five million let's say that you know hypothetically speaking and you could get that you know, and they have people that have achieved that, like, and then they feel like a void, you know, because that's not really what they wanted. Oh, okay, yeah. They wanted the aspects of that, or they wanted the freedom that comes with it, you know, but if that's, that's all they have, thinking too, yeah, that. and then all they have is the, is the money, it, it doesn't, they, they realize there's no value in that, you know, so like, you just, I mean, people say sell their soul, I feel like that's, you know, I mean, everybody's selling your soul, like, fact that you're here is selling your soul, you're selling your soul, and this kind of goes into what we talked about, the, the value of a life, you're selling your soul for something, ultimately, but right? You know, I just go back to what, what's the definition, like, what's the definition of selling your soul? Right. To, like, to, cause that, I mean, cause that's another thing why so many different people have a different conversation when you say, where is selling your soul? Yeah. Cause one person is looking at it different than another person. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because they have a different perspective on what a soul and what it what yeah, it's what worth. Soul, yeah. yeah, and whether or not it's valuable. Is it worth selling my soul for freedom? That's up to interpretation. That's that's your own personal perspective. You know, I'm not the one to tell you what your soul is worth. Who am I to tell you what your soul is worth and what you can actually get out of it? So say your definition of what you're what you're saying is selling your soul. I can only speak on what it means to me, like what I'm willing to sell my soul for. So, no, not what you were saying. Okay, you're going through, but I'm saying for the fundamentals of oh, selling oh, your soul, what yeah. are you saying yeah. that you are, you are interpreting that as? How you live your you life, your, the values of your life. That's that's what I would say selling your soul is. What what values are you instilling and exchanging, you know, your life experience, your standard of living, what is that worth? That's kind of my interpretation of selling your soul. I don't know if that's, that's clear, is that? I just want you to clarify this. Sell your soul, they think it's all other because there's a lot of videos out there, a lot of wacky shit out there, a lot of things that you can stand up there. So, to, to give a, a more of a, a solid uh, definition of how I perceive selling your soul, my probably, I would say, primary value, what I really want, you know, because we talked about everything is selfish, all desires are selfish. What I want in this life is freedom. I'm willing to, quote unquote, sell my soul. For freedom, and but when I say freedom, my my perception of freedom might be different. So I'm also clarifying that, you know, we're not free. There, there's a quote: nobody is free until everybody is. So my freedom is determined on all of our freedom. And when I say freedom, I don't just mean physical freedom. I don't mean the ability to go outside and do whatever you want to do, you know. Or I'm not talking about financial freedom. I'm not talking about spending money like you please and still having money in the bank. I'm talking about all aspects of freedom, thinking how I think. And I wouldn't even know how I think unless I'm free to do that. I may have been instilled with or indoctrinated by my environment, my immediate surroundings, the people in my life, you know? So am I really free? Or am I only free to the extent of my environment? And I'm talking about free to travel, not just the country, 